In this video, I'm going to be giving you the top five best attackers and defenders for solo queue in Rainbow Six Siege right now. Each operator has their own reasonings for being on this list. If you agree or disagree, let me know down in the comments below. But make sure you watch till the end, because if you're going to be solo queuing in year nine of Rainbow Six Siege, you're going to want to know which operators to play. Now, starting off with the attacking team, I'm going to go in fifth place with Ace. Now, if you guys are solo queuing and you need to bring a hard breacher, I recommend bringing Ace because he can throw down his ace charges from a safe position. If you are working together with a Thatcher and you don't have much communication, when he Thatchers a wall, you are able to throw down an ace charge on either side, opening up more of the wall and actually being a pretty good counter to any Kaid or Bandit tricks. On top of this, he comes equipped with the AK-12, arguably the best assault rifle in the game right now. It hits like an absolute truck and overall, it's just got a good fire rate and manageable recoil as well. In my opinion, ace is the best hard breacher in the game but if you want to substitute him for a thermite he's also a pretty good option moving on up into fourth place i have gone for ying now ying is actually one of the most underrated operators in the game right now i think she's finally getting the recognition she deserves she can be so powerful if you flash a run that you know an operator is going to be in before pushing it's basically a free kill and those nine bangs you can spam them in there and if there's even more than one you might actually pick up some three or four free kills when you rush an objective now the only reason Ying is not any higher on this list is because I think it does take a pretty coordinated push for you to get the most out of a Ying's Candelas. And on top of that, if you are solo queuing, you have to keep in mind, try not to blind your teammates, otherwise they might even end up team killing you. However, moving on up into third place, and I have gone for Iana. Now, Iana would normally be higher on this list, to be honest, but since she's lost her frag grenades, she has lost a bit of her potential. But with a solo queue mindset, she can still be one of the best operators is to be bringing for attack. Now the reason Iana is so good is basically because she has an unlimited amount of drones, giving you an unlimited amount of intel. Even if both of your normal drones have got destroyed, you can still use your clone to scout out the area ahead. Make sure you're not going to get killed as soon as you enter the building. And for that solo queue playstyle, you're going to want to be checking every single room by yourself to verify you're not going to get absolutely murked. Now Iana's loadout is once again very, very good with the ARX and G36. C, both very, very good options for the attacking team. Like I said, she doesn't have frag grenades anymore, but she can still bring stun grenades to burn Jaeger ADSs, well, my discs, or even a Rooney Gates. And overall, she's just a pretty fun operator to play. However, moving on into second place, we have Buck. Now, Buck is one of the best entry fraggers in the game, and he is extremely versatile. His shotgun can help him open up soft walls, soft floors, play vertically from above or below on objective, and he also has the option of bringing a high hard breach device as well, meaning you can open any reinforced hatch or reinforced wall that is unelectrified by yourself. Once again, Buck comes equipped with one of the best ARs in the game, the C8SFW, and overall his gadget combined with his loadout combined with his kit is just one of the best operators in the game right now, and I don't see why he wouldn't be great solo queue. However, moving on up into first place, we have Zero. Now, Zero for me is the best solo queue attacker right now because, once again, kind of similar to the other operators on this list, he can actually do it all. And with Sam Fisher's gadget, what you can do is use his cameras as just normal intel gathering cameras, kind of like a Valkyrie cam. You can use them as flank watches as well, just in case you want to cover your back. You can give pretty precise yellow ping callouts to your teammates, even if you're not queued with them. You can use those cameras to wipe out bandits or Kai off of a wall, bring a hard breach charge to open up that wall by yourself. As I said, he comes equipped with statistically the highest DPS weapon in the entire game, the S3000K, which in my opinion might actually be the number one weapon in Siege right now. So overall, I think this all combines for him being the perfect solo queue operator for the attacking team. However, with that being said, that is only one side of the story. Let's move over to the defenders and find out who the five best solo queue defenders are right now. Now starting off in fifth place, I have gone for Azami. Now, I know she's getting nerfed this season and her gadgets are no longer going to be bulletproof, but trust me, Azami can still be so, so strong, especially on certain maps. Now, the reason Azami is so goddamn strong isn't because she can just hide behind them and use them as a bulletproof shield. It's because she can create unique lines of sight, unique angles that you can actually utilize to give you and your team free kills and just allow them to hold areas of the bomb sites so much more effectively. Moving on up into fourth place, though, we have Valkyrie now even in a solo queue situation Valkyrie can be so good because if any of your teammates die or if you find yourself dead quite early on in a round you can still utilize the yellow
yellow ping system in Siege to give your teammates callouts even once again if you don't have any communication with them. Now if you're not that good at playing Valkyrie right now I highly recommend you go and look at some Valkyrie camera spot tutorials. There's a lot on Coconut Bra's channel, there's a lot on just YouTube in general. Just search them up and find out the best spots you can be putting them on on each of the ranked maps and trust me you're going to be giving your team free wins. We've gone up into third place though. I've gone for a bit of a rogue one. She was on my list last time I did this all the way back in year 8 season 2 and I still think she is very very good and it is a Rooney. Now I think for a Rooney to be this high on the list you have to be comfortable using a DMR but a DMR on defense is actually arguably better than bringing a DMR on attack. I think if you can use them well they can be arguably some of the best guns for the defensive team to bring. Plus her passive ability of being able to punch open holes in walls and stuff like that to create lines of sight to open up angles is crucial for setting up the site. So if you're really annoyed at all of your solo queue teammates not setting up the site properly, play a Rooney, take it into your own hands and open up the lines of sight you know you need and cover up the doorways that you know attackers are going to end up pushing through. Moving on up into second place though, I have gone for Fenrir. Once again, he is getting nerfed pretty soon. I believe it's in season two, but until that nerf comes, he is still going to be one of the best defenders in the game. I believe the only change we know of about it so far is that his gadgets aren't going to be bulletproof anymore, even when closed. But to be honest, if you put these gadgets in the right spot, I don't think that's going to be an issue and he can still be round changing, giving you and your teammates accurate callouts of where operators may be pushing from. And also, if they activate during a gunfight, you're basically giving yourself a free kill because they literally cannot fight back. Once again, he comes equipped with a pretty good loadout as well, bringing the MP7 and the Bailiff pistol for sight setup, overall being a pretty versatile and pretty goddamn strong defender. However, in first place, the best defender for Rainbow Six Siege solo queue right now, in my opinion, is Mute. Now, the reason Mute is so goddamn good is because his loadout allows him to be so good in a solo queue mindset. And what Mute can do is stop the hard breaches from doing their job on the attacking team, and you can prevent them from opening up reinforced walls. But it can also double down as an intel denial gadget. So at the start of the round, you can put some of these down, maybe stop the bomb site from being found at all. But it also just helps you catch and destroy those enemy drones so that they won't have intel on you later on in the round. The shotgun SMG-11 combo that he gets is also very very strong and overall i just think he's the best solo queue defender right now either way guys let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below where do you agree where do you disagree click the video on screen and i'll see you in the next one Tell me what's the